watching Wheel of Fortune. Jim Thornton has his job for a reason. Let me just tell you. <laughs> Happy Thursday, gorgeous people, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry, I am beyond over the moon on another world right now, guys. Next week, January 18th, exactly a week from now, I'm gonna be on my favorite game show since I was a little girl. Dreams really do come true. I I was a Wheel of Fortune contestant. I was there, I met Pat, I met Vanna White, I met Jim Thornton. I had my mom and my little brother fly into LA for the very first time in their lives. My dad fly back into the country. He lives in Los Angeles just to see his little girl, just to see their Shan Shan. Oh, her dreams become a reality. Oh my gosh, let me not get emotional. No, we ain't supposed to cry in this video. I'm just supposed to tell you how to become a contestant. Now, if this is your first time visiting this channel, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like what you see, subscribe, like, comment, any questions you have, put it down below. If you haven't seen my very first video, I encourage you to watch it. It's pretty cool. You might get something out of it. And it kind of ties in to this epic and amazing thing that I was able to somehow accomplish. Okay? So yeah, I was a little virgin contestant. I went through an audition process. I took tests. I beat out millions of people. Six million people applied to be a Wheel of Fortune contestant approximately every year, and 600 get chosen. So it's competitive, but it's possible, and I'm living proof of that. The very first thing you wanna do is apply to be a contestant. I applied online, or you can try to find the Wheelmobile. Those are two different ways. I'm gonna go and explain much more of the applying online side of things because that's what I did, that's my personal experience. But I do wanna talk about the Wheelmobile. Basically, the Wheelmobile is this. I'm gonna pop it up. This thing right here, uh-huh, do you see it? And it travels around the country looking for awesome, enthusiastic, wonderful puzzle solvers that love this game. Now, two ways you can go about finding it one, watch your local news station, or two, follow Wheel of Fortune on Twitter. Those are pretty much the two basic ways. Now, if you're like me, and the Wheel of Fortune just does not come to wherever you are at that point in your life, just apply online. It's a simple process. I'm gonna pull this up too, right here. See, you can scroll down and see what we're working with. Go ahead and fill it out, make sure that you meet the requirements. And then the most important part of the online process is the video audition, because this gives the contestant coordinators a chance to see your beautiful smile and to see your unique personality. And online, it'll tell you the things they really want out of your audition and the things they really don't wanna see. One of the big ones is do not say that Wheel of Fortune is on your bucket list. Even if it is, we all know, I mean, it's on my bucket list. If you're watching this video, it's probably on your bucket list too, right? But just don't say it. Otherwise, you're gonna sound like a bunch of other people. They have to watch millions of these tapes, so they wanna see your unique personality and what would make you a great contestant. That is something you wanna say. Why would you be a great contestant? Honestly, I don't remember exactly what I said, but it went something like this. I would be a great contestant on Wheel of Fortune because I'm the perfect mixture of fun and fierce. I love having a great time, but I can kick butt too. I promise you that is very close to exactly what I said and they gave me a chance. Wild! So say what you want to say, be yourself, and you should have a really good chance of making it to that next step, okay? You have to smile, they say that. Smile, don't don't sit there and, you know, I wanna be on Wheel of Fortune because I watched it forever, it's on my bucket list, I'd be a great contestant, um, 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 I'd be a great contestant because, I mean, it just would be. If 
you submit an audition like that, chances are you might not get chosen for an in-person interview. But you never know, you never know. I would smile, be yourself, tell them what's interesting about you, say why you'd be a great contestant, and keep it under one minute, okay? Now, after that, that's it. Wheelmobile or online application, the next thing you gotta do is wait. Forget about it. As an actor, you walk into an audition, you audition, you should forget about it. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. I literally forgot about it because it was over a year, not over a year, right under a year from when I applied. The day after my birthday, April 25th, I was out there putting up posters, it's my day job, and I got an email and I looked down at my phone and my hand started shaking and I spazzed out. Are you kidding me? Wheel of Fortune, you have chosen, you have been chosen to be a contestant on Wheel of Fortune? What? Is this real? Is this real life? This is, oh my gosh, that day was amazing. And I had a really sad birthday. Like I said, you should watch the first video. Sad year last year <laughs> for no reason because of this mindset of mine. It lets you know that you're gonna be playing mock games of Wheel of Fortune, and it lets you know you're gonna be taking a written test, a timed test of incomplete hangman puzzles. So after that, if you get that wonderful email, it's time to spend the next two weeks prepping hard. As far as the mock interview goes, simple. Watch a lot of Wheel of Fortune, watch it on TV. If you don't got TV, trust me, I understand, because I don't got TV. And you can watch it on YouTube. There's a lot of Wheel of Fortune episodes on, on YouTube. Also, a big rule that they had was to just say the letter. So instead of saying, can I please have an S, or may I have an S, just say S. It sounds simple, but at the actual audition, I might have been the only person out of 60 something people to just shout out the letters. I don't know if it was nerves or whatever. And the, the contestant coordinators, they want you to do really well. So they'll let you know, they'll say, okay, that was great. Now just say the letter. And the person would still say, an S please, <laughs> you know? So practice just shouting out letters with good projection. T, R, M, N. Also, I'd like to buy a vowel. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Practice that stuff out loud so you're used to it. You get ready for that mock game and you're on your A game. As far as the written portion goes, you know that it's incomplete hangman puzzles. If there's any hangman apps out there, that's perfect. That's another one. Make sure you download the Wheel of Fortune app. That thing will be your best friend for the next two weeks and hopefully for the next few months when you find out that you got chosen, right? Now what I did was I contacted a couple of close family members and friends. Thank you guys, I love you guys. I didn't want the whole world to know. The whole world knows now and they're freaking out because I didn't tell them. Sorry, not sorry. And I asked them to create their original incomplete hangman puzzles. And my family and friends are very creative. So there were some really funny, difficult, incomplete hangman puzzles that I had to try and complete. And so doing that for two weeks, I got my mind ready for that test. Because you have to do pretty well on both portions. If you rock it in that mock interview and you get a zero on that written test, you're not gonna make the cut. You wanna, you wanna do well on both, right? So make sure you prepare for both. Try to be calm, try not to be nervous. You got chosen for a reason. Go in there ready to have fun. If you really love Wheel of Fortune, you're gonna be so excited. You're gonna already know your stuff. You gotta trust in that, trust yourself and just go in there saying, you know what, I'm gonna meet other cool nerds like me. We're gonna have fun, we're gonna solve puzzles, we're gonna watch videos about Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm such a nerd, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> but seriously, that's what you should go in that room doing. I went in that audition room and I came, I arrived early. There you go, bada boom, bada bam. So you can be right up front, right in front of the contestant coordinator so they see you that whole time. Be bright and early, okay? And once you're in there, 
you have to make sure that you are excited the whole time, the entire time, not just when your name is called. When your name is called, you better stand up and clap and smile and uh, shout out those letters T with conviction and with projection, with proper conjection, pro conjection, projection, proper projection. <laughs> You want to make sure that you aren't just on when it's you. You want to be on that whole time. You want to cheer everyone on. Yeah, go Diane, what's up? They're watching you that whole time. They want to see that you're, you've got good sportsmanship, that you're a good sport that you can rock on with your fellow contestants. You know what I mean? When they get a good letter, you want to clap. When they get a bankrupt, you want to, oh man, ooh. Ooh, when they hit that 5,000, you better work, you better, you better work. You better work, John. You really do want to just have fun. Go wild. I was not as obnoxious as I just expressed. <laughs> but I did have a lot of fun, and I, I was in it. And you want to focus on that puzzle because you never know when they're going to call your name. So if they call your name, you want to already have that puzzle almost solved in your head or at least know the proper letter to call. Pay attention. Don't call a letter that's already been called. And once you get some money, buy a vowel. Okay? Simple stuff like that. If you hit a free play, pick a vowel because they like when you do that at the audition. So you should. Get on their good side. Why not? Right? There comes the written test very important. When that comes out, they set the timer, you have it turned around, and then you turn it around, the timer starts, go. Be calm, be focused. Look through that entire written test. It's a series of four different categories and then four incomplete puzzles per category. Run through it and make sure that you knock out everything you know right away. Remember, you only have five minutes, so don't know that, know that, don't know that. Ooh, I definitely know that. Rock it out. I knew for sure I had eight, and then I went back and started checking again. All right, I, th I think that's that. And then once time's up, time's up, okay? Now after the written test, they go away, the contestant coordinators, to deliberate, and then everyone's a little antsy, because the test isn't, it isn't the easiest, I'm telling you. Beforehand, get your mind ready for that one, for sure. And I talked to fellow contestants, and a lot of people got threes, fours, fives. So they're really nervous. So I was excited because I knew for sure, I knew without a doubt, I got at least a solid 10. They also count incomplete puzzles. So make sure you rock and roll and fill out whatever you can. Even if you don't know a full answer, you might know a partial answer, and you get partial credit. And that adds up, right? Then they come back in, and they make an announcement that they're only going to keep 25 people. So they make a cut and they make sure you know that this basically means this 25 people are people that they want to see more of. Their audition is not finished yet. And if you make it to that 25, you're gonna have to talk about yourself. You're gonna have to pretend you're spinning a wheel. From what I understand, uh, I just spoiled it. <laughs> and of course the actress in me definitely wanted to make that 25. I wanted to make the cut, you know? but I didn't. And they said, if you do not get called, it means one of two things. Either way, your journey is done. We've seen all we've needed to see from you. If you get a letter in two weeks, we saw what we needed to see. You rocked it out. You're going to be a contestant. Now, if you don't get a letter in two to three weeks, unfortunately, we just don't think you're ready right now, but please try again, because that's the great thing about Wheel of Fortune. You can try once a year, as long as it's a year in between auditioning. So don't give up, okay? This is my first time, yes, but I know people that have definitely, I don't know them personally, but there are people that have definitely tried out again and again until they've got the knack for it and they get chosen to be a contestant. After that, it was basically a waiting game, the longest wait of my life. I wish I could have told myself to chill out and not worry, but I was worried. I knew that I had done my very best, but I thought, well, maybe maybe I smiled too much or maybe they just didn't like me. I freaked out. And then every day, my little sister was with me at the time, and she can attest to this. Every day I was, I was waiting like, Sky, what if I don't get it? I don't know. And I wish I could have chilled out. I really do. But the day that I got that letter, 
That day, guys, is one of the best days of my life. My word. And the rest is history. The West rest was months and months of practicing and waiting until I got a film date. Because they only film four days out of a month. And so, a lot of waiting, but it finally happened. And now, you finally get to see it next week Thursday. So, though, that's my journey. And there's all my tips on how to become a Wheel of Fortune contestant. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment, please share, please tune in. I am so excited, guys. My next video is definitely gonna be on Thursday unless I feel like posting something tomorrow because sometimes I feel like posting stuff, you know what I mean? And it's probably gonna be some sort of vlog of that entire day because I'm going home to Miami and watching the show in the home that I grew up watching it with all four of my grandparents and my parents and my siblings and I am so excited. Your dreams can come true no matter, no matter how crazy they seem, no matter how huge and ginormous they are, they can come true. So don't give up on them, okay? Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and week. Mwah.